Question eight's a really nice question where it starts to get starts to get good. Uh, the li a liquid is being added to a container, mystery container. Don't know what the shape is. Such that the height of the liquid is increasing at a rate of 0.1 meters per second. So, dH by dt equals 0.1. The volume of the liquid is given by this expression, so V equals 20 over 1 plus 2 over H, uh, and that's going to need to be written in a little bit more friendly fashion as we try and differentiate it later on in the question as 1 plus 2 over H to the minus 1. Uh, enter the rate at which the volume is increasing when h equals 2 meters. That's a standard punchline there. We need dv by dt, and then all of that with respect to h, pop in h equals 2, and we're there. So we're going to need to differentiate dv by dt to get there, uh, in which case we need to integrate first, uh, sorry, we need to differentiate first dv by dh. So if I begin by letting, say, x, we'll use x, be equal to, uh, and I'll open a bracket and put 1 plus, and we want to express this as 2h to the minus 1, 1 plus 2h to the minus 1. So that's the inside of that bracket, effectively. And we're doing that such that we can then put v equals 20x to the minus 1. Now what we can do is differentiate x with respect to h in order to get minus 2h to the minus 2. And then we can differentiate v with respect to x in order to get minus 20x to the minus 2 and then what we're looking for is dv by dt which we can get from dv by dx which is over here times by dx by dh which is over here for the purposes of cancelling out the x dx times by dh by dt, which is up here, for the purposes of cancelling out the h. So that's going to give us dv by dx minus 20x to the minus 2, close brackets, dx by dh, open brackets, minus 2h to the minus 2, close brackets, dh by dt, 0.1. Right, so we've got something here that's quite untidy, so dv by dt is going to be equal to, uh, tidying this up we'll end up with 4x to the minus 2h to the minus 2. Uh, and we can write this in several ways, but let's go with uh, 4 over x squared h squared. And we need to sub make substitute back in our value of x. x was equal to 1 plus 2 over h effectively. We need to put that back in there, so that we end up with dv by dt equals 4 over h squared, open brackets, 1 plus 2 over h, oh, I missed out the one, 1 plus 2 over h, all squared, and then when h equals 2, dv by dt equals, and that's where the punchline of the question comes from. So just make sure that you can follow this procedure yourself all the way through to get to the same expression that I have here in order to answer the question in full.